Okay, hello everyone. This is going to be a, uh, about a 15 minute or so chair sequence. So all you're going to need is some sort of a sturdy chair. It's best if it doesn't have arms on it. And you want to make sure it's on a surface where it's hopefully not going to slide around a whole lot. So find a chair and then have a seat in the chair. Uh, and you want to be sitting so that your feet are flat. If you can't get your feet flat, then you could put uh, you know, a, a couple of books or something underneath your feet or a blanket or some pillows. You want your feet to feel like they're on a solid surface. And so this is going to be a 15 minute or so just joint loosening practice. But we're going to move in the shoulders, the spine, the hips. We'll get the knees, the legs. Uh, we'll really get pretty much the whole body involved in this practice. So start by just feeling your feet on the floor. Let your hands rest on the thighs. And then a lot of us are used to being really slouchy in life. And so if you press into the floor and press down gently with your hands, engage your belly, just sit up tall, trying not to touch the back of the chair. And we'll take maybe about 10 or so breaths here. So you can keep your eyes open if you want, or you could certainly close them. And just breathing at your own pace. Noticing how the breath feels. Is it smooth? Does it feel shallow or deep? Fast or slow? even or uneven. And then maybe notice what sort of movement you feel in your torso with the breath. Does the belly move? How about the chest? What about the ribs? No need to judge what you observe. Something might change based on what you observe. But it is what it is. About three more breaths here. Just getting present to the body and the breath. And then slowly opening your eyes and take your left arm and bend the elbow and hands towards the shoulder. For some people, the hand might be more on the chest and then start to draw backward circles with that elbow. And two variables you can really play around with are the size of the circle and the pace, slower or faster. Especially if you have any shoulder injuries or conditions, make the movement smooth and pain-free. You might get some clicking or popping as long as it's not associated with pain. One more backward circle and pause at the bottom and then reverse the circle. Sometimes it feels really different one way versus the other. Breathing freely. Two more. And then let that arm go down and shake it out a little bit. Good. And then set that hand on your leg. Bend the right elbow. And start to circle it backwards. Maybe this side feels looser or maybe this side has less range of motion. Doesn't matter. I always tell myself there's not a good side and a bad side. It's just the right side and the left side. One more here. Pause at the bottom and then reverse the direction. 
Breathing slowly, keeping the feet pressing downwards, keeping your spine from slouching. A couple more. And then set that arm, release it down, shake it out. Good. And then both hands on the leg. Now we're going to do, we'll start with an arm movement and then we'll get the spine more involved. So inhale, reach your arms out in front. Fingers are spread really wide. Exhale, make fists and pull back and lean forward a little bit. And then inhale, open the hands, reach forward. Exhale, make fists and pull back with your shoulders and your elbows back behind you. And keep that going. Inhale, reach, sit straight. Exhale, pull, squeeze the upper back, lean forward. Three more here, inhale, reach out, sit tall, exhale, lean and pull, shoulders down. Two more, inhale, reach out, and exhale, pull. Last one, inhale, reach out, exhale, pull, hold this position, squeezing into fists, squeezing elbows back behind you as much as you can. Feel that openness in the chest and the belly. Couple more breaths, feet still grounded. And then hands on the legs. We're gonna do an opposite movement in the spine. I'm gonna turn myself sideways. You can see more what my back is doing. So with the hands on the legs, again, there's space back here. Take an inhale as you sit straight. Exhale, you press your hands into the legs and tuck and curl. And then inhale, just to go back to straight, shoulders slide down. Exhale, press and curl. And inhale, up, a little pull in with the hands. Exhale, press. Not aggressive with the arms, just using the arms to help with the movement of the spine. And two more, curling, and then coming to neutral, and then curling again, coming to neutral, pressing through the feet, and then the last one, curl and hold it, tuck your chin down towards your throat, rounding the backside, make sure you're still in a good stretch, you don't want any sharp pain or numbness, tingling anywhere in the body. Three more breaths here. And then sit up straight. Now you're gonna move the feet back a little bit further. So instead of your heels underneath your knees, your heels are a little bit back. And then you're gonna to start to go up and down on your toes. And just keep going up to the toes and then down. Whatever pace feels good. You could alternate one up and one down. And then stay up on the left toes. And depending on your, your toe and ankle flexibility, you might even be able to step the foot a little further back. And then move the knee side to side gently, kind of rolling over the toes. If that's too much, then find another position that feels doable for your toes. And then sit that foot back down, come up onto the toes, ball the foot of the right foot, start to move that knee. Right to left, slowly, gently. You don't want to overdo this movement in the toes, especially if you have tight feet. Up. 
Okay, and then set that foot down. And now with the left arm straight, we're gonna repeat that circle that we did before, but with a straight arm. So backwards circle first. You might see how there's a little bit of a twisting happening in my torso as I do my circle. You can allow that to happen if it occurs. One more backwards. And pause at the bottom and then reverse it. Then we can change the pace. You can change the size of the circle. And if the straight arm circle isn't feeling good, do the one with the bent elbow again. Two more. And then shake that arm. And then we do the other side. Right arm circling backwards. You can start small and gradually let it get bigger. Or if you start big and it's feeling to be too much, then you can always go smaller. Two more backwards. Stop at the bottom, reverse it. And as you can see, while I'm circling, my arm is doing a little bit of a spiral. So when it comes up the back, it faces up. And when it comes down the front, it faces down. So you can play around with that spiraling action of the shoulder. Two more. Breathing slowly. Last one. OK, relax that. And now bend the elbows, hands on the chest. Elbows lifted, shoulders slide down. So you're pressing down with your feet and up a little bit with your sternum pressing into your hands. There's still space behind you so you're not leaning into the chair. Breathe in. And then exhale, you're gonna turn to the right and as you do that, your left knee will probably slide forward a little bit. And then inhale to the center. Exhale, rotate to the left, let the right knee move slightly forward. And inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the left. One more each side. Inhale, center. And exhale to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale to the left. And then we'll hold it. Inhale, center. And then take the left arm over to the right leg and drape your arm towards the back of the chair. And you can look back, you can keep your neck straight, or you can look towards the front shoulder. You could try all three and see what feels good. Three more breaths here. Keep pressing down into the floor with the feet and into the chair with the buttocks. Make sure you haven't started slouching. And then inhale to the center, hands return to the chest. And then exhale, opposite side. Right hand across, left hand on the back of the chair. Coming the head any direction you want. Let go of any tension in the jaw, furrowing of the forehead. And then untwisting. You're going to reach down, interlace the hands on the back of the left leg and lift it up. You can sit up tall, make sure you're not slouching. Use this foot pressing into the floor. And then it's going to be a swing of the leg uh, left to right. So inhale, swing the leg out. And then exhale, bring it back towards the middle. You keep that swinging motion going. Whatever pace feels good. A couple more. And then 
and sit that foot down. We'll lift the right one. Once again, press down, sit tall through your sternum, and then inhale, open, exhale to the middle. A few more. Last one. And then set that foot down. We've got one more movement of the spine. We did opening the front body and we did opening the back body and we did twisting. Now we're gonna do side uh, lateral bending. So sitting up tall, again, make sure there's space behind you, arms by your sides, tuck your chin, draw your head back in line with the rest of you. And then take an inhale here. And then exhale, just lean to the left as you slide your right hand into a little bit of the hips. And then inhale up to the middle. And then exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the left. Right hand slides up. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other side. A few more each side. Inhale fully. And then empty as you lean. Inhale. This stretches and strengthens key muscles of the torso. Inhale. One more each side. And then come up. And then slide down and hold it. So if you, if you want, you can support yourself with your hand on the seat of the chair or place it on the, the leg of the chair. This hand can stay here. It can come higher up. Or you can bring it all the way up to the head. Either way, keep the head back. Feel that stretch over here. Breathe. And then coming up to the middle on an inhale. Pause for three breaths here in the center. Pressing down with the feet, shoulders down, chest open. And then going to the other side. So leaning to the right, you can have your hand on the seat of the chair, slide it down the leg of the chair, or just have it out in space. And lots of choices for the left hand. Doing what feels good on your shoulder and what gives you a good stretch. Keep that head going back. And then inhale, slide it up, release the arms. Hands on the legs, eyes open or closed. Take about three breaths. Okay, just a couple more things. You're gonna lift the left leg again. You can hold on to the knee this time or interlace on the back of the thigh, whatever works best for your proportions and um, various other things. So we'll lift the left leg up and then use the arms to move that leg in a circle. You bend the elbows, pull it in, move it out, down and around. Same thing like what we did with the shoulders, pace and size, are two variables that you have control over, making sure it feels smooth, comfortable in your hip. Pause, reverse. Breathing gently and smoothly. Two more. Okay, set that one down. Make sure the foot is flat. You're up tall still, and then hold on to the right leg 
and start to circle one direction. One more that way. Pause, reverse. Last one. Okay, and set that foot back down. And then we're gonna finish with one of my favorite uh, kind of buttock hip stretches. So lift your left leg up, cross it over. Careful with your knee, reach your foot out more towards the knee rather than pulled in tight towards your hip. Foot's hanging off if you can. Ankle can be relaxed. And then hold on to that shin, pull against your shin so you get a little bit longer from the tail to the crown. And for many of you, this might already be enough of a stretch or you can start to lean forward more. Careful with the knee, stretch this back. And then the buttock, glute, outer hip muscles of that side. You might feel it someplace else. I've had students say they feel it in the inner thigh a little bit too. Tuck your chin, keep your neck neutral. Keep pressing into the floor with that foot down there. About five more breaths. And then if it gets a little looser, maybe you can fold more. Being really careful not to overdo. How's your breathing? Okay, and then sitting up. As you uncross that leg, hold on to the back of the knee and just bend and straighten the knee a few times. Doesn't have to go all the way straight. And that foot goes down. Make sure it's grounded. And then you're gonna hold on to the other leg, pull it up, cross the ankle over, pause. Feel grounded through both sit bones as much as you can. Pull against that shin, lift and drop shoulders down. And then from there, just find your position where you're feeling a stretch, but it's not too intense. A lot of us have not so great neck habits. So if you're doing this with your neck, tuck your chin down, spread your Adam's apple a little bit and feel the back of the neck get more long. About five more breaths. Okay, and then sitting up, uncross the leg, hold on to the back of the thigh, and lift the foot, and then bend the knee. Do that a few times. Okay, now you can scoot more back into the chair. So your sit bones equal, feet equal, Hands resting wherever is comfortable. They can be more forward or pulled back. Shrug your shoulders up and then let them drop down. Close your eyes. Once again, drop that chin ever so slightly down towards the throat. Close your eyes if you're comfortable or close them halfway if you'd rather. We're going to start the way we we're going to finish the way we started. Beginning to notice your breath again. And for the next couple of minutes, observing the breath, perhaps comparing it to what you observed earlier. 
in terms of those qualities of breath. Has it changed at all as a result of what you've done? Let go of any tension in your jaw or your forehead. Enjoying sitting still and being here. One more minute, breathing and staying present. And then slowly open your eyes. So thank you for checking out my first official video. Um, I miss all you guys. Namaste.